Is Louis Vuitton canvas outdated? That's what we're gonna be talking about in today's video. So over the last couple of years, there have been so many rumors that Louis Vuitton is going to discontinue canvas. And I mean, we've heard all the things, right? Um, I've never done a video about it because to be honest, I'm just gonna like, start the video off with a bang. Um, obviously, they are never going to discontinue the canvas. It has been something that has been around, it's something that's made the brand, you know what I mean? Like it's iconic. So I just felt like that was never a video that I wanted to dabble into just because I found it silly to even discuss. However, let's talk about if it is outdated and let's talk about some theories as to why Louis Vuitton is definitely pushing more of their leather pieces versus their canvas um, items. And I think a lot of you probably already know this or kind of have an idea yourself, but if you go to the Louis Vuitton website and you look at their most iconic bag. So to me, that is the Neverfull, the Alma, and the Speedy, right? Those are some of their iconic, I would say easy accessible bags. And I say easy accessible because the price point is definitely lower than a lot of other luxury brands. Um, so if you look at those bags, those are definitely like the iconic bags, the bags that a lot of people start out with. Um, if I you know, dare to say. I think, I, I mean, personally, one of my first luxury bags was definitely Louis Vuitton. And I know that a lot of other people share the same experience. And till this day, a lot of people start out with that brand. And I would also say that Louis Vuitton is definitely in the top three of designer bags. Um, and by that, I mean, I would say Hermes, Chanel, and then comes Louis. If you guys disagree, let me know. Um, but that's kind of how I see it. Um, but anyways, so we know the iconic bags, we know the easy accessible bags that I just mentioned, which are just the bags, again, that are at a, I don't want to say a lower price point, but if we look at the price of some of these, they're definitely a lot, lot lower than other brands or even some of the other Louis Vuitton bags. And if we go to their website, a lot of the bags that we're seeing right now are leather. Um, and those are the ones that I think they want us to see first. Okay, so if we go to their website and I'm just gonna pull up the Alma. So the Alma BB is $1,760, which I would say is a pretty good price, right? And then if we look at the other leathers that it comes in, let's look at the, um, let's look at the Epi leather and let's see the price difference. So this one would be 1,960, which I wouldn't say is a huge jump, um, but if we look at the next one, oh, why is this not working the way I want to, you guys? Okay, and then if we look at um, this leather, so now we're looking at $2,500. So this is quite a big jump from the first canvas bag I showed you guys. And why I wanted to touch on this, basically, I, I think my theory is just that they can only charge so much for canvas, right? So they can charge a lot more for some of their leather bags. And obviously it's undeniable that all of these brands have had crazy, crazy price increases. We're seeing like Hermes and Chanel with the absolute most insane price increases, right? There are so many Chanel lovers right now that are like, I am not shopping with Chanel anymore because the prices are getting ridiculous. They're getting to the point of like Hermes prices, yada, yada. And we're seeing the same with Louis Vuitton. They're just like, increasing their prices, increasing their prices. And you know, we can say a small percentage of that is due to inflation, but that's a small percentage, right? Um, I think there's other factors. And um, I also think that Louis Vuitton is just trying to push some of their more expensive bags. The Capucine, for Louis, it's kind of like their Birkin or their Kelly, right? Um, it is definitely one of their most expensive bags. I'm pretty sure it doesn't even come in canvas, so it just has leather options. So they're charging a lot for it. Let's see. I haven't even looked at some of these prices in a while. So yeah, $7,100, um, which 
is crazy to me for a Louis Vuitton bag. And I feel like everyone's gonna have their cap of what they're willing to spend with a certain brand. Like, I would easily spend $2,000 at Louis Vuitton. Would I spend $7,000? Probably not. Would I spend $7,000 at Chanel? Yes, I probably would, right? So it just kind of depends on the brand, I think, and what you're willing to spend with that brand. So anyways, with all that being said, Again, my point is that I think Louis Vuitton is just trying to put the focus more on their leather bags and, um, you know, just because they can charge more for them, they, they're they more expensive uh, than their, you know, canvas bags, which again, they can only charge so much for. Now, there are canvas bags on here that are a little bit higher in price, um, but like I said, the iconic ones, the ones that most people are going for, they're pretty accessible. So um, anyways, with all of that being said, let's talk about if it is outdated. So I do not believe that monogram bags or um, any of the Louis Vuitton like classic bags can ever really be outdated. I think they're timeless and I think they're iconic bags. So I don't think that they can ever be outdated. And so I don't really know where all of this is coming from, but I think it's because it's undeniable right now, quiet luxury is really a trend, right? And it's gonna go away just like any other trend, but right now, quiet luxury is really a trend. And so we're seeing less and less people wear bags with logos or wear bags that have some sort of a print on it. And, and maybe that is where this is coming from. Um, but yeah, I personally don't think that it's outdated. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. Now there are certain bags where I'm like, okay, this is not the vibe right now. I kind of feel tacky wearing this, but that's just like personal preference sting, right? So, um, yeah, that is, that is what I think about the whole situation. Let me know what you guys think. Um, do you think that Louis Vuitton is like the, the monogram bags, the canvas bags? Do you think they're outdated? Do you still love wearing yours or are you kind of with me and think that they're, you know, timeless pieces. Also, I will arguably say that it is one of the sturdiest materials out there. Like literally all of my Louis Vuitton bags, they're all canvas. I don't have a leather one. Um, and they're so durable. Like I feel like I could throw it out in the street, run over it with a car and it will still be fine. It will still be fine. So yeah, I, I think it's a really good material. Now I know there's some issues with cracking and things like that. And over time, quality has definitely gone down. Um, but nonetheless, I do still think that it's a good material and you definitely can't argue it for the price point. Like if I can get an Alma, I don't even remember what I paid for my Alma when I got it, this was years ago, but like, and Alma for $1,700, I mean, that's amazing. If you're looking at other brands, the prices are absolutely outrageous, right? So um, anyways, that is it for today's video. Just a quick little, quick little discussion about the good old Louis Vuitton canvas. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.